Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion again with Jazir and Vilia, where we are in Shaden Hall. Previously, we had to run all the way back to Faragil to protect the little village from a goblin attack, which turned out to be not so much of an attack as a bunch of goblins that wanted to desperately get access back to their magical portal in the ruins, which we helped them do, which was good. Um, it's just me or is the game volume a little on the loud side right now. Maybe it's just the music. I don't know. Um, and we helped them do that and save the town in the process. And um, in between the last episode and this one, Jazir and Vilia have travelled all the way back to Shadenhall. And uh, we've just exited the inn after having a spot of lunch. It is, in fact... Well, it's almost lunchtime. Slightly early lunch, let's call it. Uh, we left Farragill about 7 o'clock in the morning, so... Uh, now, however, we have continuing business to take care of in Shadenhall. We're back where we started before that little crisis erupted seemingly out of nowhere. So, a few things to do. Um, Villian needs a book. Ten Commands, Nine Divines. And I think there's a bookshop around here somewhere, so I'll go and have a look for that. Um, the desolate mine is now clear with the goblins infesting it, so I should go return to Burzgrove Cash about that for, for, for payment for that. Um, Alder Zothran was slain by the Shaden Hall guards. I mean, to go and tell Lavana the sad news if she hasn't heard it already by now. And, uh, of course, there was also the matter of the lady in Shaden Hall who was cursed by a witch. So we have to go, go find and probably kill a witch. Um... Said to live in a small cave on the slopes of the mountains to the east of Shadenhall near Rickety Mine. I should go to the Iliad Ruin Kemen and start my search for the cave there. Um, and uh, in addition to that, we're looking for... Down in a hole. Thelonius's lost goods and his friend Elahai. Out in the, uh, in the mountains out there somewhere, I believe. So, taking care of things in order. Let's try the bookshop first, shall we? Or not, apparently. Uh, it's not open. That's weird. I guess we'll try it later. Um, okay, well, let's go find Levana then. Oh, hello. Who are you? It's you. Hi. What can I do for you? Are you a fighter's guild person? Some Imperials think that Shadenhall has become a Dunma city just by merely having a Dunma count. It does not work like that. Nothing here reminds me of Morrowind. Which is a good thing. I came here to get away from the great houses, the Kimono Tong, and a couple of other nice specialties of our homeland. I feel liberated. That's good. Jazir could not agree more. Wright Lythandis is one of the greatest painters in all Cyrodiil. Sadly, he's gone missing. His wife, Tavella, is beside herself with grief. Huh. Maybe Jazir will look into that also at some point, but he has enough on his plate, frankly. Oop, God, didn't mean to do that. I take it you want something. Well, what is it? Keld of the Isles, guardian of the Fighters Guild. And how did I achieve that high rank, you ask? Patience, caution, slow and steady wins the race, my father always said. Careless fighters get one last white shirt and a box. Not me. Hmm. I've settled down here. Nice place. A little slow, but it suits me. Burrs grow kosh as a bear sometimes, but I got thick skin. Doesn't bother me. I see. Take care. Jisir still cannot figure out exactly which isles he is from, but hey. Let's go in here and see if we can get a reward from Burzgar Cash. Hello. Haven't you taken care of that weapon shipment yet? Those weapons won't deliver themselves. Yes, yes. Jazir was delayed because he had to go and not kill some goblins on the way after from after killing some goblins. It's weird when you think about it. But anyway. You got the weapons there and cleared the mine with no casualties. Better than I expected from you. Here's your reward, and a little bonus. Nice. That's gonna be terrible. You just watch. 100 gold. Ooh! Don't spend it all at once. 
Advancement? You have done well so far. I hereby promote you to apprentice. Good luck. You got anything else for me? Nothing now, not at your rank. Go see Azan in Anvil. Maybe he's got something. Alright, now that's going to be quite a trip, Go isn't it? Why are there potatoes all over the floor? She's ridiculous. Well, there she's here, potatoes now. How do you do? Yes? Ah, you can repair Not things. Smart to carry up. Much appreciated. Goodbye. Okay. Alright, now what's where's what's a face? Any time now. Around here somewhere. Probably over by the cathedral. Church, chapel, whatever we're calling it. Ooh, notice board. House for sale. Stolen. Melona's necklace. The above item was recently stolen by a group of bandits. They were last seen heading towards the Morrowind border. Mm. Maybe we'll run into them. Probably won't, but maybe. Hi there. I wouldn't mind just going out actually towards the Morrowind border to just search for those bandits. Be a very um oh my god, he's still just lying there in the street. That is just wrong. Um is she in here. Be kind of a fun quest to just directionlessly go out there and hunt the bandits like a bounty hunter. Um but I've just got enough to do as it is already, you know, it's like if I had nothing else going on then sure, yeah. Go on an expedition into the mountains to search for some bandits who've stolen a necklace. Right now, it's like I've got enough to do. Is something amiss? You have an ashen look on your face that tells me so. What's wrong? Have you not been outside your house for like three days? Aldas is dead. Oh no, they killed him? I can't believe this. Ever since his wife passed at the hands of the bandits, his life has been miserable. I'd grown to become fond of him. I wanted to take him into my house, but I was afraid. And now look what's become of him. There are no more options left. Ulric must be dealt with, and actions speak louder than words. You must do something for me. Go tell Ulric that I have some information that incriminates him. Tell him to come alone, or he won't get it. Then lead him here, and I'll do the rest. Mm. I'll make the necessary arrangements for his burial. He'll be buried next to his poor wife. I'll deal with him soon enough. Ulrich will not buy his way out of this one. He'll pay, I promise you. Uh. Nirvana was furious after I told her of Aldos' fate. She wants me to go speak to Ulrich and somehow convince him to follow me back to her house, where she would take care of him. This doesn't sound like the best method to deal with Ulrich. I think I should speak to Garas first and decide how to sand handle this situation. I don't... I'm, I'm curious, actually, as to whether or not... Ooh, floor cheese. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm curious as to whether or not you, you even get a choice in this quest. It's been so long since I did it, I actually don't remember. If we can actually go with with her plan. Stand clear. Or with, uh, or talk to the, the other guy. Clearly the quest right now wants me to go speak to What's-His-Face immediately. I have only one quest arrow at the moment, after all. Because, oh man. I feel like Jazeera would be torn on this one. So yeah, I think Ulrich probably does deserve to be horribly it's murdered. Hi. On the other hand, <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I, it, it, this the plan seems unwise. Big burly Nord captain with a giant battlax versus old Dunma lady. Not, not to disrespect old Dunma ladies. I'm sure they are old battleaxes in their own right, but still, that's not a contest I see her winning. There's 
Ulrich is around here. I might try and talk to him and see what, if the option is even there. But he's not here, is he? So. We must put an end to this travesty of justice. Aldos will be mourned. I won't sit by and watch the innocent being driven to the brink like that. Something must be done, but without bloodshed. Levana has always been quick-tempered. You must reconsider her plan. It can only lead to prison for her and for you. I swear that Ulrich will pay for this. We must handle this carefully and prove to the Count that he needs to be arrested. Ulrich has been watching me, so I haven't been able to enact a plan I devised to bring him down. That ends today, now that you are here. The evidence we need to incriminate Ulrich must lie within his quarters. You must sneak in there and retrieve it without being seen. If you're caught, there isn't anything I can do to help you. Just be careful. Aldos's death is indeed a tragedy. We'll do what we can to put his soul at ease. Jazir does not think either of these are particularly good plans. They both seem to end with Jazir being caught and put in prison. But uh, perhaps the fine for sneaking around the castle is not as bad as the one for murder. Hello. All right, Vilia, stay here. Yes, friend? Uh, yeah, wait here for a while. If you say so. Right, Jizir is going to figure out where to find Ulrich's quarters. He's probably out and about right about now, so... Ooh, hello. Hmm, I wonder. It's just Rakenar, the poor porter. Do you wish to beat me? Punish me? Of course. Rakanar deserves your scorn, but pity this one, please. They do not treat the help around here very nicely, do they? Everywhere I go in Nibane, they are treating the Khajiit badly. <sighs> Rakanar is your friend, no? Your servant? Whatever you require. Rachnar knows nothing, less even, but Rachnar wishes to please. Hmm, I was hoping I could ask him about Bye. Ulrich. He might tell me something interesting, but no. So I was just checking to see if that was a secret door there. How do you get to the barracks? You have to go back outside. Is it one of those castles? Oh, it might be. But I don't know if his. Hmm. Looks so we have two quest markers. Yeah, okay, so we do get to decide if we want to do this Garrus's way or Lavana's way. Eh. Uh. No, let's not do that. What? Which way would Jazir prefer? But well, the problem is... It's too late now. It's too late. We've already told Garrus about the plan, about Levana's plan. So if Ilric ends up dead, he will have no choice but to arrest us both. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it doesn't shake down that way in the game, but that's because video game logic and not real logic. But like, you know... I, a Garrus strikes me as the kind of dude who would be like, yeah, no, I have to arrest you. I have my principles and I stand by them. You should not have murdered him. So I feel like we have to do it his way. Uh, there's a green marker in here. And it's pointing at this bench. That is not very helpful. I'm going to be honest. So I think we're going to do this Garrus's way, honestly. Oh. Nice place to sneak around back here, eh? 
Oh. Hello. Private quarters. Great hall. Let's try the great hall. I think especially since we've broke it, even if that weren't the case as well, actually, you know what, honestly, we've I keep accidentally unsheathing my sword on the net. I've got a new mouse, and the uh, the old left mouse button is a little more sensitive than the old one. I keep accidentally clicking it. Um, we've already kind of established a precedent with, 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 with Jazir that he tends to do things by the book actually when when it when when the, when the chips down when when it comes down to it he actually he's been doing things by the book in order to avoid getting as many people in trouble as possible which is not something i really expected from him based on his back backstory and whatnot but that just seems to be the way it's shaken down so far he just you know it's one thing getting himself in trouble and paying the consequences for that he just want to get other people in trouble i think in this case he doesn't want levana to get hurt or, you know, thrown in jail for life or something for murder, you know? I think... The more I think about it, the more I feel like he has a bit of a thing, a bit of a hang-up with that, you know? Like, is he'd get in trouble out on his voyages with his brother on their ship, and his brother would have to come and bail him out, and his brother probably never let that, you know, never let that slide. You know, he'd never let that, let him live that down. It's like, ah, oh, Svir is always trying to get Jazir out of trouble. Always Svir has to pay the fines. And I think Jazir right now is sort of, he's turning over a new leaf in his life in Cyrodiil. He's like, right, Jazir is determined not to get people in trouble except for himself. Jazir will be responsible for his own actions and his alone. green arrow pointing there. Is it something below me? Above me? The the quest marker thing is being like really unhelpful right now. Like, wow. It's being useless. Right, well, we're having a chat. Don't know if this is even the place, honestly. Quest mark is being dodgy. It's gonna. It's gonna really make this more difficult than it needs to be, isn't it? I guess this probably isn't Ulrich's room, unless there's something in this chest that I can't open. Which is a bit of a problem, isn't it? I don't know if I can even bash it while I'm cr crouched. Yeah! 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 Gah! We are making the attempt because the, the sword is getting damaged. I think I just hit the bed then. Oh, come on, just open. I'm 
son of a... Come on! Oh, it's not happening, is it? Okay, I need to unlock this. I need to see if the, what we need is actually in there. Okay, it's not. That was a complete waste. <sighs> what about this one? No. Okay. So I have to decide if I want to do this Garrus' way or Levar's way. It doesn't... I'm now wondering if I have to like go back to Garrus and say, Yes, I'm going to do it your way before things will proceed. I don't think so. Oh god, he's coming back. I don't think... Ooh, yeah, I don't think he walks very far down there, does he? Electon. Damn, thought might have been onto something there. Ugh. Nothing. You know what, folks? One second. Okay, I had a quick look at a walkthrough just to make sure I wasn't missing anything, and uh, no, I'm, I'm doing it the right way, it's just the quest marker is not pointing me to where I actually need to go right now. It's being totally annoying, uh, unfortunately. I don't know why it's broken, but it is. Um, but I think Ulrich's room must be around here somewhere. Now, interestingly, what I did discover as well while I was looking at the walkthrough, that there is a third way to do the quest, and that is to just simply kill, kill Ulrich yourself. Um, and Garrus obviously gets very annoyed if you do that, and I think you can actually get a bounty for it. Um, but interestingly, you can actually kill Ulrich as early as the very start of the quest, so you can actually kill Ulrich very early on and actually save Aldos from being killed, um, which is interesting. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, I just assumed the guy was marked as essential up until this point. Um, but, yeah, no, you can kill you can kill Ulrich quite early in the quest. Save an awful lot of bother. This is a restricted Bollocks. area, citizen. Leave now or face the consequences. Uh, okay. I'm just checking. This isn't... I'm looking for Ulrich. Is Ulrich around here anywhere? Sorry. Anyone seen Ulrich? I'm looking for the guard, Captain Ulrich. Where is he? Does anybody know? Uh, fine, I will leave. He's clearly not here. Well, I had a poke around, but no Ulrich. Honestly, if I can't yes. find the evidence, I'm going to have to do it Levana's way. <laughs> or just kill him myself. In fact, am I killing myself? Rather than let Levana get herself into trouble. Jazir might, as a desperate last resort, if we can't find the evidence, Jazir might just try and kill Ulrich himself. Probably want to do that before leaving Chayden Hall for good, though. <laughs> oh, suddenly it's very foggy, apparently. I'm going to go over here, because I think there's a barracks over here. It might be that Ulrich has its quarters over here instead. No. What is it now? Yes. Dungeon. I 
That just goes outside onto the wall. Can I? Ooh. Oh, I've got the key. Perfect. This is the place. All right, good. We're in luck, everybody. Let's see, what do we got here? Guide to Shaden Hall, gold coin, elegant chest. Oh yeah, the dude dude's quarters are indeed decked out, just like they said they were. Dude has been embezzling funds for sure. But I'm not finding any incriminating evidence, I gotta be honest. Weird how I can pick some chests open and I can't pick others. I think the others must be modded chests and this one isn't. Damn, nothing. Beyond my abilities. Oh man. Oh! I almost missed it. There it is. Suspicious letter. In Ulrich's quarters, I have discovered a letter he wrote to some relatives outside of Cyrodiil. In it, he talks about sending them a great deal of money and goods he purchased using the illicit funds. This is the evidence Gallus would need. I should take it to him. Dearest Isabel and uh, Jeanette, I should be able to send you the package of money with goods within a month. Prove more lucrative than I'd first suspected. Who knew that Indaris would be so easy to dupe? He doesn't even care. He's busy wrapped up in his own affairs, and I mean that literally that he has no time to pay attention to the daily operations of Shaden Hall. I've decided to raise the fines again next month and we can begin constructing that summer keep we'd always wanted, cousins. More to come soon. My love to the both of you, Ulrich. Yoink. Alright. Well, phew. We didn't have to resort to murdering him. Ourselves. Would have been very difficult to pull off, honestly, without access to things like poison apples, you know. <laughs> I trust there were no run-ins with the guards in the barracks? Oddly, no. You're back. Good. Did you find the evidence? You've done it. This letter will spell his undoing when I present it to Count Indaris. Splendid work. Splendid work indeed. I must hasten to the Count and deliver this immediately. Please, meet me back at the Chaden Hall Bridge Inn in about two hours. Well, yes. Alright. Oh, there he is. Do I get to see the conversation? Or what? Ahem. <clears throat> Garrus. No? Okay. Fine. Whatever. You wanted to talk to me. Yeah, I almost forgot. Well, let's go. Let's count off to anyway. Well, how goes it? Off for a stroll, it looks like. Hello there. All right, so Shadenal Bridge in two hours. It's late in the evening anyway, so yeah, we'll go and meet him there about half past ten. the place. No, that's Neilan's Lodge. It's this one. I wonder why they call it the Chaden Hall Bridge Inn. It's nowhere near a bridge. Good day to you. Oh god, it's this crazy what? lady again. I'm so fed up with this disgusting goddess and her crap. It's just getting as far away from you as possible. Alright. Two hours. There's something to eat while we're here. Like all of these individual potatoes that are separate for some reason. <laughs> Thirsty and tired. Uh, let's have a drink, shall we? Bring out the good wine. Slightly thirsty still. All right. All right. A little bit of water then. It's been about two hours, and Garrus Terelim should be meeting me at the Shade Knoll Bridge Inn. Yeah, I assume he's downstairs. And also, it's raining outside. Delightful. Well met. 
Oh god, you with a weird wig. How do you do? My hair is turning shaded all inside out, looking for a husband, right? I come I from and Dessie, oh, it's you Doris. again. Good day to you. After speaking to the Count and, in light of the evidence you recovered, Ulrich has been removed from his post and arrested. Ah! Many guards are coming forward with more evidence of his greed, so it's safe to say he'll be spending quite a bit of time in the city dungeons. I've been promoted to the post of Captain of the Guard and hope to return respect to the peacekeepers of this town. The Count and I thank you for helping bring Ulrich's hold on Chadenhall to an end and for doing so without unnecessary bloodshed. As a token of our gratitude, as you did this, at the risk of false imprisonment or perhaps your life, we reward you this bounty of gold. Mm hmm. Let me guess, On like a hundred gold. Of the people of Chaden Hall, I thank you. 150? Oh! Ulrich will be spending years in the city dungeons. This should give him plenty of time to reflect on what he's done. We finally got him. There'll be no excuses Evening. this time. Ulrich it's will be fine. Hi. Read any good books lately? All right. Well. GG is going to get some sleep, and hopefully in the morning it will have stopped raining so that we can go out wandering the, uh, the mountains without getting soaked through. Not that we're going to get much sleep with this lot chattering about. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, it's the following morning. We've been fed, we've been watered, and all the rest of it. And now it's time to carry on with the rest of our stuff. A sense of deja vu is slightly here, stood outside the inn again, but, um... Yeah, well, with Ulrich taken care of, thank goodness, um, yes, witchcraft and down a hole. I forget, let's have a look. Down in a hole map, it's just over there. I think the witchcraft one is over here somewhere, isn't it? So, yeah, near Kemen. So let's... Let's go looking for this first, shall we? Talk to, so, as a recap, I talked to Thelonious, who was the merchant in Way. Um, wants me to find that explorer goblin lair near where he was ambushed. Yeah, bringing his goods and his little caravan into Cyrodiil from Morrowind. Though. Inside, he wants to know if I can find either his friend Elahai or the remains of the trade goods, or both. So that's what we're looking for. Oh, wow. Look at all the meat. Ah, oh, sausages. Oh, don't stop drawing your sword, man. Um, giant, giant. Look, look at the. Imagine the size of the animal that came from. Like my god. This, this ham is almost the size of me. Oh. Jazeera has just had breakfast and now he's hungry again. Anyway. Oh, I didn't even notice there was a gold horse courier officer right down here. Didn't even notice this entire alleyway, frankly. Stop getting your sword out, man. Come on. It is a... God damn it. It is a really, 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 really sensitive mouse button. It's, uh... I, I, I managed to get my hands on another Razor Death Adder. I thought they'd stopped making these, to be honest with you, but apparently they're, ma they're, they're, they're making them again, although they're definitely made of a cheaper plastic these days than the old one I used to have. But um, I'd forgotten how friggin' sensitive the uh, the actual buttons on the front are. Anyway, good mouse, just really, really sensitive left mouse button. Right, let's head out. Oh, excuse the yawn. Okay, so we want to head this way, around the side of town, or in that, in that direction. Oh, I didn't manage to check the bookshop, did I? That was bad of me. Alright, one moment, Vilia. I almost forgot. Let's try the bookshop again. It's a Sunday. For what that, whatever that, whatever that's worth. It wasn't open yesterday, so was really bizarre because it wasn't like exactly late in the evening or very early in the morning was it it's just it was just shut for some reason if 
finally, here we go. Books. I sell books. Go ahead. Look. Buy some. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Now, uh, what was it? Something like Ten Commands, Nine Divines or something? Doesn't look like she's got it. Yeah, no, she doesn't have it. What? It's not a dialogue topic, is it? No. You too. All right, never mind. Sorry, Avilia, you're out of luck. We'll probably have to go back to the Imperial City for that one. All right. Who's that with the elven bow over there? Yes. Erendil. What can I do for you? Nothing, apparently. Stop talking. Stop talking. Yeah. Everybody in. Nibane is so rude. Drop another quick save. Are they still with us? Yeah, of course she is. Guess we could follow this road for now, see where it leads. Sort of taking us in the right general direction. Oh, I see. It leads up to this lodge, doesn't it? Knights of the Thorn Lodge, or whatever it's called. Well, Jazir is a knight of the White Stallion, so... Pretty sure that beats your fancy thorn. Jazir has a shield that proves it and everything. Sir Jazir still does not have a very good ring to it, though. Now, Lord Jazir, now that would be a little more, you know, rolls off the tongue better. But, uh, that would be a little ambitious, wouldn't it? No, 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 isn't that a picturesque view right there? Put that on a postcard. I don't know whose camp this is, but nice spot for one. Something shooting at me. Oh, it's a friggin' Dunma. Uh, I thought maybe it would be an imp, but no. Much worse. Poison and... Not wine. <laughs> um, we need to make more po potions, don't we? Jesus. I'm out of virtually everything useful. I don't have any shield potions left. Oh, God. Where are you going, Billia? Leading this guy on a merry chase, aren't you? Might be using that. That's a rubbish idea. Well, she's unconscious, which means whatever that attack is, it's probably going to one-shot me. Oh boy. Do I really not have any healing potions? Is this it? Is this me dead? Is this me about to die? I think this is me about to die. I have no... Man, I re I had no idea my potion situation had gotten quite so dire. And that's that. You're a dangerous bastard. Okay then. Uh... And the game's crashed. Lovely! Lovely, 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 lovely. Alright, folks, we're back again. Post-crash. Uh, I had to take a break for about half an hour. Uh, but we're back. And uh, this time, I've made us a few potions. I didn't have a lot to work with my, with my inventory, but I've made us a handful of decent healing potions. And a few good poisons as well, which hopefully will get us out of any tight scrapes. Without too much bother. Might not even encounter this random Morrowind bandit guy anyway this time. We'll, we'll see. I 
I'd prefer not to, but uh, you never know. Right, so there's the camp. And then we want to keep going up here, and it's about here that we ran into the bugger, isn't it? There's note that my damn sword is damaged as well, and my axe. I forgot about that. Uh, have I got any repair hammers? I do. Ah, but it's magical, so I can't repair it. All right, we'll have to settle for the axe then. We have a gua, but do we have a bandit? We've got we've got someone over here. Is this another Skyrim person? It is, isn't it? All right. Oh, for pity's sake. Really? You're just gonna run straight past me? Oh, he's attacking the Guar. Okay. There we go. Welcome, Mr. Guar. Cheers for the help, mate. Cheers for the assist. Another wing chain mail helmet. Well, he was easier to kill than the, uh, than the Dark Elf was, mostly because he didn't have any magic. Which, as it turns out, makes quite a difference. Right, is this the place? Come on, show me how brave you are. Now oh, what? Julie, uh, my friend in those. Gobbos! Wow, we took care of them, didn't we? Except there's another you one over here. He's got uh. a disease! It's a diseased gobbo! There we go. Well, there we go. These those guys were not too much trouble, were they? Breakneck goblins. <laughs> yeah, a lot of variety in terms of enemy level at the moment. They're either we're getting getting some total pushovers, and we're getting some oh my god, he's going to kill me in one hit type encounters at the moment. All right. Breakneck lair. Let's have a look inside, shall we? Okay, it's very dark. There is a tripwire. Let's go ahead and fix that. There we go. These guys probably are not going to be willing to reason with me. All right, Philly's just you leave charging right on in there. Looks like the others are pushovers as well. Let's have that log pick. Okay, and bullet caps, nice. We do like those. Folded cloth, we like that as well, and turn it into bandages. So there, do you mind setting, not setting off all the traps in, the, in your path? Alright, let's have you. This one took two hits. Okay, what the, what's the deal here? Are they, why are you always running around Come like on, a crazy person? Show me how brave you are. I'm not afraid of you. Okay, ooh. Can't see anything, help. Um, is Jazeera stuck down here now? You're a Not quite, no. Bastard, aren't you? Philia, it is a rat! Stop talking him up! There we go. Honestly. Could do a bit of cooking here, actually. Potato, bread loaf. Potato is good. Potato is shield. Shield potions. But potatoes are also delicious, so we keep eating them. Gold, yes. Ooh. I didn't achieve much, but it was cool. We're running a bit low on food, to be honest, so... 
You think you can oh. beat me? Go ahead. Lots of ore on these guys, interestingly. Not sure what that's about. Oh, there was a shaman here. I guess uh, Vilia killed this one. Rusted key. Come on then. Uh. I'm going to pick these open because I don't want to damage my axe again. Getting very, very unsatisfied with the whole lock bashing thing. It's incredibly unreliable. Disease Gobbo. Not interested. Rat Farmer. Here's tobacco. <laughs> Goblin Chef. Oh, I thought he looked a bit different. Unknown Crate Key. That might be what we're looking for. Potatoes and a leek. More food. Excellent. What's in this cupboard? Nothing that exciting, sadly. Anything here, am I? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, hang on. Does this go anywhere? Oh, it does. Hello! They weren't initially hostile, but at this point, I feel like we can assume they would have been. Human heart? Oh, boy. Uh, I think maybe we found what's left of Elahai. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Ah, another cauldron full of skulls. A goblin staple of interior design. Alright, no, fuck this. There we go. Oh, sorry guys, my phone in the background is making lots of noise. I apologize. I, it's a relatively new phone to me. I still haven't kind of figured out how everything works. And I've noticed that even if I put the uh, the volume down to zero... What on earth? If I put the volume on it down to zero, it still gives me audible notifications instead of just vibrating. Can't figure out how to make it not do that. It's a little bit irritating, but it is what it is. Is this place? Oh, hello. I'll be with you in a minute, sir. I think we found the stuff. Shipping manifest. Found a shipping manifest for Thelonious's trade goods. At least some of them are still here now to find Elahai. Does he want me to bring them with me? Or I don't know. Hello! Ah, Savior has come to rescue me. A Savior comes to rescue me from goblinoid captivity, yes? 
Most excellent. I owe a debt of gratitude, though I am not sure how I can repay you yet. And now, Savior, I must seek... Oh, I might have skipped some dialogue there. I must seek, seek Thelonious, but I do not think the goblins can got hold of him. Uh, but I must be sure of certain things. Okay, yeah, no, no, Thelonious is fine. Sapphire vein. We have nothing in it. Typical. What, uh, what are we doing? Where are we going? Oh, you know what? You do whatever you want to do, man. We're going this way. Yeah, now to return to Thelonious. Right, I guess he's making his own way out. Whoa, hello. Oh, there he is. I don't know how he made it round there, but... Whoa. Whoa, no, 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 no. That's not Ella High at all. That is... What? What? It's a friggin' Demora. Oh boy. Okay, glad I made those potions. Because now's the time to use them. Another scamp. Just go for him. Leave him alone. Oh, another potion. Oh, I just shot your own scamp, you moron. There we go. Breakneck chieftain. Yeah, that is very definitely a Dramora. Great. Googly moogly. Glowing orb. Penance of Deception. Ah, I knew there had to be a catch. <laughs> it weighs an absolute megaton, doesn't it? Be gone, foul, evil, strange sword of death. I am not interested in being corrupted by such a terrible artifact. It will have these Welkin stones, though. Get a little throne room down here and everything. Hmm. A bollocks to that, I says. There we go. Weak potion of light. Open very easy lock. Welkin stones and gold. And, well, you know. Can't just not sit on the throne. Some things you just have to do, will ya? Ah, look at me, I'm king of the goblins! Jazir, king of all goblins! Yeah, maybe not. Let's go! Where's this lead? Kerak Molag Galas. Door opened with a glowing orb. Okay? There is more to this place! Oh, nice one! Well done, you moron! Quality bit of friendly fire there. That's done him in. Ow! There's another one. Help! There we go. Well, Jazir was not expecting this. Well, I guess I'm not looting you, huh? Hope he didn't have anything important on him. Same goes for the other guy. Oh, don't fall in. There he is. 
Oh, what do we have here? Topaz vein. Sapphire vein. Oh. There is more to this place. Although, I'm awfully tempted to just Die. withdraw and come back another time. Oh man. Oh, I was so close to killing him. That's so annoying. Ah, oh, we're back here as well. Brilliant. Oh boy. <sighs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Um, when we come back next time, we shall proceed through there again, and I shall stubbornly attempt to kill all those Dramora again. Um, in the meantime, though, ladies and gents, I hope you've enjoyed. That's it for this this episode. I know there's I normally do like two Oblivion episodes a week. There's only been one this week. It's because some stuff has real life stuff's been going on that's totally disrupted my upload schedule for this week. But um, hopefully back to normal again soon. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one, ladies and gents, when we continue to push deeper into here. Even though technically our objective right now is to go back to Thelonious, I can't simply ignore something this weird and awesome. So we're going to press on regardless. All right, folks, catch you next time. Toodaloo.